Welcome into a beautiful afternoon for football here in Charleston, South Carolina for this critical Southern Conference tilt that pits the Citadel against Western Carolina. Two teams teetering on the brink of an FCS playoff berth with two games to go. The Citadel need a win over their final two SoCon games and then a little bit of help on top of that. Meanwhile, the Catamounts try to rebound from a homecoming loss to pick up their seventh win. It would be a big benchmark in terms of finding their way into that 24-team field. So alongside former Citadel linebacker James Riley, this is Matt Dean here for the call on ESPN3. James, an intriguing matchup in terms of the playoff implications, uh, but also in on the field, it's going to be the top offense in the league in Western Carolina going up against the top defense, the hard-nosed Citadel Bulldogs. That's right, Matt. I mean, both of these teams have a lot to win as well as a lot to lose, okay? Both of these teams want to come out fast, play hard, and one thing with Western's offense is they know how to get the ball up the field quickly. And one thing about the Citadel's defense, they know how to get the ball in their hands as well, okay? Catamount scored 35 points a game and a huge part of that, accounting for over 2,000 yards of total offense. Their dynamic dual threat quarterback in Tyree Adams. Hey, at 6'2", 185 pounds, this guy is tall, lengthy, and shifty, okay? This guy can get the ball up the field using his running back as well as his arm, okay? So definitely want to watch this guy today and see what he's going to do for the offense. And on the other side, the Citadel coming off a great game defensively. They held VMI to just three points, the lowest output uh, in a Southern Conference game since 05. Aaron Spann leads the conference with five interceptions. He was a big part of that win last week. Doing a great job of getting the ball in his hands all year, okay? This guy's a turnover magnet, okay? So definitely want to wa watch this guy and see how he's going to lead the defense as well and show them, hey, we're going to get the ball in our hands and do a great job of setting a presence for the defense. High-flying offense and a hard-hitting defense. A playoff berth on the line. The Citadel and Western Carolina kickoff is next here at ESPN. Welcome back into Charleston, South Carolina. The Citadel shaking off some red zone struggles that hampered this team a year ago, including uh, on that last uh, touchdown catch by the freshman Keontae Sessions for the Bulldogs. They have not been very efficient in the red zone this year. James kind of turned that around here. They missed four field goals, left 12 points on the board last week. So good to see them take advantage earlier of their first opportunity within the 20. That's right, Matt. Really doing a good job of making sure they, they really put in those great positions that they're in and really make sure they count, okay? Put some points on the board and help themselves out for the rest of the game. And so now the kickoff here from Jacob Godek for the Bulldogs. It'll take the return man deep into the end zone. Thought about taking it out and eventually will. He's still rushing down the right sideline. Ends up being a huge gain all the way past the 40. The Trey Hardy on the return. He hesitated in the end zone. Thought about kneeling down for a touchback. And ends up picking up a huge return of nearly 40 yards. Caught the Citadel off guard there. They didn't know what he was doing, so they thought maybe he stopped and allowed the Catamounts to get great blocking, and there you go. A lot of yardage. Great run by him. Catamounts Sr. will set up the Catamounts at the 41 in their own territory. There's a snap back to Trey Adams to look to his right, throw out into the flats. And tackled down after a few yards picked up. That's Tyrion Robinson. And what will be his second catch of the day? Had a catch of 16 yards earlier in the game. Pick up of five now for Western Carolina. The Citadel needs to regain composure of this game and understand that play happened. Now on to the next play. Again, dropping back is Adams, hit while he was throwing, but still able to manage the completion. This time to Connell Young, his second catch of the day, the freshman out of Greensboro, North Carolina. Again, the Citadel ranking high, okay, among the top 20 nationally in key categories for the defense. That's all good and well, but you have to be able to stop a lot of these passes and play good coverage downfield. That yeah, feels like Western Carolina hasn't really needed a ton of their big running back, Dietrez Newsom. It's been all Adams for the most part as we say that. Here goes Newsom with some green grass ahead of him. Stumbles past one tackler down the left sideline. Eventually, he's finally shoved out of bounds by the Citadel's Wally Wilmore. 
On a missed tackle in there from the Bulldogs and a big pickup for Detrez Newsom. What a big running back he is. Strong, fast, and very decisive where he's going. He knows where he wants to go, and he's not going to let you stop. He will spot it at the 23. As here's the first play following that big run, they'll hand it right back to Newsom. And there he is again, Miles Pierce with the big hit. Laying it down, saying, hey, guy, I don't care how many yards you got on that last play. I'm going to come and hit you hard and lay you down. Well, for what it's worth, he picked up 23. But, <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> right. This was a big hit from Miles Pierce. Second and 10. No, second and 10 22. for the Catamounts after that big stop. Adams alone in the backfield. He's turning towards the sideline. Looked like he was trying to bowl, uh, draw the Bulldogs off sides there. And then turned for some direction from the sideline. Snap back. He'll look to throw to the right. And there was a chance for Noah Dawkins to intervene on the play. Uh, not sure he got a hand in on there. But cut off the passing lane. With an empty backfield there, the Citadel had to be very precautious on that throwing opportunity for the Catamounts. They've completed a lot of passes so far today in this game. They need to be weary of those passes. So third and ten coming up. We mentioned Citadel has struggled offensively in third down, but they have been the best in the Southern Conference in these situations on the other side of the football. Adams with Corey Holloway to his left. Snap back to him. Looks to throw down the right sideline. Holloway, he will shoot it outside of the end zone. Looking for Robinson. The Catamount's leading receiver. Fourth and ten coming up. Fourth down. Tyree put a little bit too much on that ball there. Not really giving it much room to be caught. So from the 23, be a 40-yard attempt for the kicker for the Catamounts. Hits it up. Through the sticks, and it's good for three. Catamounts back on top after the 30-yard kick from Joshua Gibson, the junior. 10-7 Catamounts here in the second quarter. Southern Conference football on ESPN. <laughs> 